At the University of Southampton, Professor Bill Keeble and his team have spent years trying to find a way to intercept and kill superbugs before they even have a chance to infect us. And the solution they found is simpler than anyone imagined. It's one of the oldest metals known to mankind. It's cheap and abundant. It was known to the ancient Greeks and Egyptians. We've been using it for more than 5,000 years. It's copper. To demonstrate copper's superbug battling credentials, Bill contaminates a copper plate and a steel plate with 10 million MRSA bacteria. That's about one handshake's worth. We're taking an epidemic strain of MRSA, strain 16. It's uh, the most virulent strain in the UK, responsible for many outbreaks in hospitals. These blobs are the DNA of the bacteria, stained to glow under fluorescent light but only if they're alive. Now, if we look what happens on copper oh. after five minutes, you see the big difference. Wow. Most of them have lost their green color, and the ones that have still got it, they're fading out. That means that they're dying or they're already dead. So you've gone from 10 million bacteria to a few hundred? Yes. In five minutes. And this is just a piece of copper, a normal piece of copper. Yep. Now, if we look at stainless steel... Wow. And that's after five minutes. It's teeming with bacteria. The contrast between the contaminated steel and the copper is staggering. And that's due to the natural reactivity of copper. As soon as the organisms land on the surface, the copper floods into their cell. Once in the cell, they punch holes in the cell membrane. So think of a balloon starting to burst. They also stop the bacteria respiring. They can't breathe. And then they also destroy the DNA. Now, it's reckoned that 80% of superbug infections are actually transmitted by touch. And even with thorough cleaning, it's really difficult to stop a chance encounter. The problem is that we're a very tactile animal. Think of all the things you touch today, how many handles you touch, how many surfaces, how many rails, how many buttons. Now think about how many times you touched your ear or slightly picked your nose. And then think about how many other people touch those surfaces. Not your nose, obviously, that'd be weird. But all the other ones, now it only takes one of them to be infected and it will rapidly spread. Unless everyone in hospitals, doctors, consultants and visitors are hermetically sealed off with masks and white suits, it's virtually impossible to keep the bugs out. And this is where copper comes in. Trials have just been completed in the intensive care units of three US hospitals where they made a few simple changes. They replaced the tray table, the IV stand, and most importantly, the bed rails with copper. The results, published in a paper in May, showed they had slashed superbug infections in intensive care units by an astonishing 60%. It's incredible that something so simple and commonplace as copper could become a key weapon in our battle with superbugs.